What's up guys, this is the How To Over Under Lace by Lace Anchors. If you're not familiar with Lace Anchors, you might wanna click right there. That link will take you to our other video which will show you and explain to you a little bit about Lace Anchors and how to use them and uh, some different uses and, and the purpose behind them basically. Um, the reason we call this the Over Under Lace is because you've got the, the X's or the crosses going over under. So you've got the over, under, over, under, over, under. You can see how this X here goes underneath the sides and this one here does a full span into the eyelets and goes over. So gives you that look. It's a pretty simple one. It, it does look cool. Um, anyways, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to achieve this. What you're gonna do to start out is lace your shoe from the outside into these bottom eyelets. So you're gonna take your lace and go into these bottom eyelets and pull your shoelaces up into the middle here. Make sure you've got them about equal lengths on both sides. Then you're going to take your lace and come out of the second hole over here. Take this side here and you're going to come out of the second hole on this side from the inside and come out of the hole. That's the whole key to this lacing pattern is going into the hole or out of the hole. Actually that's the key to a, a lot of the lacing patterns. So you can see now we've formed this X underneath. <clears throat> We're now going to take it over the top and into the next eyelet. Same thing on this side. We're going to go up over the top and into the next eyelet. All right, now we're gonna go underneath and come out of the next eyelet. Same thing on this side. I'm sure you guys have figured this out by now that this is really simple. Into the next eyelet over the top and into the next eyelet. And now we're gonna come out of the next eyelet. This shoe has what, two, four, six, seven eyelets. This lacing method really doesn't matter how many eyelets you can have or you do have, you can, you can achieve this with three eyelets or, or 10 eyelets. Um, you're then gonna go into your top eyelet here. Same thing on this side, into the top eyelet. And that pretty much completes, completes the lacing pattern right there. Um, like I said, it looks pretty cool. It's, it's so simple, but yet it is unique. Um, this is how you install your lace anchors. You're gonna take your lace anchor Take your shoelace and you're gonna go through that center hole of your lace anchor and you're gonna slide this lace anchor down until it's touching the inside of your shoe there, like so. You're then gonna come out of the top hole of your lace anchor. And again, our, our video or that link I showed you at the beginning will have clearer or better instructions on how to utilize your, your lace anchor if you can't see this one that well. You're then gonna take your lace up over the top of the spikes, the little tiny spikes on your lace anchor and into the bottom slot. You're gonna pull it tight. You're gonna have a thin little deal there that's gonna prevent your lace from pulling back out of that eyelet. It's not going anywhere. That lace isn't coming out. So you preserve your look here and you preserve your fit and you also get to trim your lace and get rid of the excess lacing that's normally tucked inside of your shoes or knots or bows tied behind your tongue here. It eliminates all of that. I'll go ahead and finish up and show you the completed shoe. Slide your lace anchor all the way down until it's touching the inside there. Pull it through. Top hole. Bring it back over the top of your lace anchor and into that bottom slot. And as you can see, actually, I'll go ahead and show you right now how you trim these. I usually leave an inch or so just in case you want to adjust. You're not gonna feel that inside your shoe anyways. And it tucks behind the tongue. Once these lace anchors get seated, you're gonna feel absolutely nothing inside your shoe. What you do is rotate those down in there, pull them on the outside, and I'll simulate a foot sliding in here so that you can see what it looks like 
once you're complete. I put some towels inside of these shoes. You might wanna use a wash rag or something just to kind of puff them up so that it does simulate a shoe in there so that when you actually put it on, it's close or, or very close to the fit that you, you should achieve with your foot in there. You can actually lace a lot of these methods up with your foot inside the shoe so you get it perfect every single time. You can actually install the lace anchors with your foot inside the shoe. It's fairly simple. But anyways, that's, that's the uh, finished product with the over under lace. Check out some of our other videos on YouTube. Uh, our YouTube channel is Lace Anchors TV and uh, there's some different lacing methods on there for you to check out. If you're interested and you want to get some lace anchors, check out our website www.laceanchors.com. Uh, that'll tell you where to purchase them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.